Hello, I'm Christopher Wojtak. I'm a jazz guitarist and educator in Portland, Oregon. And this video, which is entitled Environments for Jazz Guitar, is an exploration into different ways to orchestrate our improvisations and our arrangements. Um, I like to call these orchestrations environments because they create the musical environment in which our improvisations and arrangements live. affect how we will improvise. Uh, for example, you're going to improvise very differently over this than you would something like this. Okay, so it's very, very important to the sound of what we play. The guitar, the guitar exists in several worlds. Um, it exists as a rhythm instrument, either in, uh, in the jazz world in a, uh, a big band setting where we're playing quarter notes, or as a comping instrument, which is comping is an improvised form of accompaniment. So same kind of thing, but. Uh, it also exists uh, rhythm for, I don't know, uh, pop or funk music. other things. It also is a lead instrument, single note soloing instrument. Blues, yeah, more like jazz. Bluegrass. It does lots of different things. When we combine all these worlds together, we get solo guitar. And I shouldn't really say solo guitar. Uh, let's call it self-accompanied guitar because this works just as well in a small ensemble. If you're playing in an ensemble with bass and drums and no other chordal instrument, you're gonna use these same ideas as you would if you're playing solo guitar. And then we use these different approaches. We create a series of environments and your ears and your ideas and your personal tastes will determine what kinds of environments you will create. Uh, sometimes, in fact, if you're, imp if you're accompanying somebody, their ideas will dictate what environment you create. But you'll be able, you can choose with your own personal taste how long an environment lasts, what kind of environments you're going to use. By the way, Autumn Leaves is the tune we're going to use for this video because it's kind of the perfect laboratory song. It's got, um, it's a song we all know, or most of us know. It has major and minor two fives in it. So it works, we can really experiment with it quite well. So I'm gonna play one chorus of Autumn Leaves using a series of different environments, possibly more environments in less time than I normally would, but just to give you a taste of where we're headed with all this. 
Okay, so here we go. So several different environments, and we're going to talk about all of these and some more in this video. So enjoy. Mm -hmm. 